Good evening, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of day uh, market wrap up on the 9th of Feb 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher the uh, end of day's uh, stats. As you can see, US markets surging to new highs, obviously helping the uh, European session. Uh, FTSE itself breaks through 7200 again and uh, actually settles at 7230 up 40 points 0.5% higher German DAX impressive day 100 point rally today at 0.86% okay so certainly um, certainly finishing higher and the French CAC as well negating that uh, weakness on the especially on the daily charts HNS formation certainly pushing higher impressively the IBEX, the FTSE MIB, all of Europe certainly higher. And as you can see, the uh, the actual uh, American market certainly uh, breaking higher too, with the S&P breaking higher, the Dow breaking higher. Everything certainly seems to be following that theme. Okay. In terms of the uh, technical picture, let's just give you a, a an insight here with regards to the S&P. Certainly see in the daily chart here, clean breakout above, folks. Okay, an impressive breakout, breakout like that. Certainly expected that to hold as resistance, and that certainly isn't. Even with Twitter shares today, we certainly were expecting a breakout, or sorry, a breakdown, and that good resistance holding uh, and potentially moving lower, but that certainly isn't the case either. Even with Twitter shares down 10%, the Nasdaq certainly uh, remaining afloat and actually pushing to new highs. So, very, very impressive thrust. Okay, so. Where do we go from here? Uh, interesting question. If, if US markets are breaking out higher, then one would uh, or logically presume or assume that the uh, the, the uh, European session, uh, European markets will certainly follow. Now, the FTSE itself certainly has. Let's see uh, what, what's happening with regards to the rest. Now, in terms of economic data today, the, the drag on the European session really was, Jap or was German, sorry, German data. German data certainly coming out on the weaker side. Okay, German... Uh, uh, exports certainly down 3.3 percent so drastically lower uh, and again that was uh, well it was expected to trigger a risk aversion or risk off bound that wasn't the case at all jobless claims as well from the uh, the, the us uh, you actually had a slight uh, increase in continuing jobless claims but initial jobless claims certainly reduced sorry both reduced do apologize both reduced so that certainly helped the uh, the actual job picture to a large extent okay uh, and certainly you know, those potentially uh, claiming job seekers so again, um, certainly helping the uh, the actual uh, U.S. markets to push to new highs. Now, Mr. Bullard actually um, tapped the uh, the actual dollar rally on its head when he stated that uh, basically he was not seeing any signs of inflation or or uh, signs of flight, signs of inflation emerging enough to confirm or an up or make for put forth an argument of three or four hikes this year. So. I think he was arguing for one. So that certainly sent the dollar lower as well to a large extent. Now, obviously, the um, initial rally was in the back of uh, Mr. Trump's comments on tax uh, reform and uh, potential tax cuts and uh, court of legislation as well, saying that there would be some details in the next two to three weeks. And the market certainly took off on that. Now, we also had the letter, China, letter, letter that was written by Mr. Trump to the Chinese leader, President Xi, uh, certainly arguing for a an, uh, for an amicable relationship, okay? Uh, certainly opens dialogue with, between the Chinese and the Americans, and that certainly alleviates any concerns with regards to a trade war or currency war, etc. So, especially given the fact that Mr. Trump's labeled China a currency manipulator. So, that certainly is an interesting scenario, and that certainly did help the uh, the actual market to move higher. Now, we did have concerns with regards to Coca-Cola as well, in terms of its earnings, but that certainly was negated, Okay. And again, Mr. Trump's tax comments and the letter to China certainly are two key uh, instruments in terms of the uh, the actual market moving higher. We did have the Chinese markets over higher overnight as well, so let's bear that in mind. Okay, so where do we go from here in terms of the actual Euro? Uh, should we say European markets? Now, the German DAX, from my perspective, still has a H&S formation. So, provided it remains below 50 to 61 percent, the right shoulder remains intact. From my understanding, certainly is looking to move lower. In terms of the 60-minute chart, as you can see here, we've taken out this is a diagonal trend line now. Okay, uh, we focus on this one for now. Okay, uh, and that certainly has been broken out as well. So the next potential resistance is seen in this zone here, uh, 11,700 now. Currently 11,640 after hours. So let's bear that in mind. We'll be 11,680, and then you have uh, 11,720, 11,735. Then it may eventually gap fill at 11,12, 8,12. 
Okay, so watch out for gap fill above if this uh, rally certainly continues. 10 minute chart, German DAX certainly uh, certainly putting up a fight, okay, pushing higher. You are capped around the 11680 zone and the 11700 zone, so watch out for that. You still have the unfilled gap below as well, so just be be, be wary of that. Now, the Grexit concerns certainly have been ignored with potential yields rising in, 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 uh, in Greece. Uh, again, no concerns there at all. Also, uh, concerns with regards to uh, the French political uh, uncertainty as well. That certainly has been negated to a large extent as well. But it will certainly continue to weigh. So my bias certainly is bearish in European uh, equities, given the uh, the actual political uncertainty. Now, the 60-minute chart on the FTSE itself certainly is putting a topping tail into the close at around 7240. You certainly have resistance at 7250, and the next level of resistance is 7260. So... Uh, solid levels of resistance for the FTSE itself and we'll see whether or not we can actually uh, uh, break down and in terms so if you do flush lower now on the FTSE you certainly have uh, support here around the 7215 if you break lower then you are looking at uh, 7190 zone uh, break even lower then you're looking at 7180 okay on the on the downside so just bear that in mind that's the potential scenario on the FTSE 100 in terms of euro stocks last but not least let's just bring that, that index for you okay so um the daily chart at the moment we had a bear flag formation certainly um being threatened now potentially being threatened given the uh, thrust higher looking at the 60 minute chart you are into that 200 ma and the horizontal resistance at, at 3280 so certainly will be capped there okay we actually took out the fib 75 percent so a very impressive move Although, having said that, you do have the unfilled gap below now, so just be wary of that. You have an unfilled gap below at uh, 3 to 40 zone, looking to potentially close. Again, like I said, you have Brexit concerns, you have French political chaos as well. Uh, generally, uh, you have risk aversion in terms of the weaker earnings as well that were coming through this morning. I mean, in terms of the European session, obviously, we have German exports lower, okay, Commerce Bank, Portugal banks. Uh, as well thomas cook so uh, a lot of variables there for the downside for my interpretation and my perspective in terms of european markets so certainly european markets are lagging the us pairs and there's a reason for that okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now